So the iPhone 13 Pro. Announced on September 14th of 2021, I've been using this phone as my daily driver phone for the last six months. I made an initial review of this iPhone after around a month of usage, which went into much more detail about the new features and my thoughts on the 13 Pro as a whole. So if you do want to check that video out, the link will be up here and in the first link in the description down below. But there's only so much that you can test and observe in a month of usage, which is why I am doing this six month review to see how my iPhone 13 Pro has held up over time. There have been some things that have changed during this time, mainly in terms of software features and some notable things that I want to share with all of you guys. So without further ado, let's revisit the iPhone 13 Pro and see what it's like to use six months later. All right, first, durability. Probably one of the most important things to cover in a long-term review because it sets the tone of whether or not something will last a long time. Now, I will make a really big disclaimer. I freaking baby my iPhone. 99% of the time, my phone is in a case. I never throw my phone around. I've never dropped this phone and there are rarely ever even fingerprints on my screen or on the sides of the case. Basically, if you were to wipe all of the dust off, it would look brand new. So it's no surprise that my iPhone 13 Pro looks pretty much factory fresh, aside from the insane amount of dust that it somehow accumulates in my pocket. So far, I haven't noticed any scratches on the stainless steel band, the cameras, the back glass, or on the screen. And mind you, I don't use a screen protector on this phone. The camera crevices have gotten a little bit dusty, but that's something that a microfiber cloth can take care of very easily. Overall, I'm definitely the exception rather than the rule when it comes to how I treat my iPhone, but I'm confident that if I don't do anything stupid with my 13 Pro, I know that it will last a very long time, and that definitely does give me some quality of life insurance. Next, performance. Honestly, this section is going to be very short because everyone already knows that the iPhone is already really fast. The A15 Bionic chip along with 6 gigs of RAM has not slowed down one bit in the last 6 months of my usage. Everything from watching YouTube videos to shooting 4K videos is fast, snappy, and fluid. Especially with the new 120Hz ProMotion display, it just makes everything feel a lot faster. But all of this insane performance in the iPhone 13 Pro that absolutely no one will take advantage of is just headroom for future software updates five to six years down the line. And that's one thing that's pretty much guaranteed with iPhones. Heck, my old iPhone 7 Plus from almost six years ago is still receiving the latest software updates, which is a testament to Apple's hardware software integration. And those future software updates nicely transition into the software in general on the iPhone 13 Pro, as the iOS version that was shipped with this phone is quite different from the iOS that is out now. Many of the bugs and glitches have been ironed out, and it's generally a quite smooth experience for me. Additionally, with the software, some new features have either been enabled or added. Some of these features included the enabling of ProRes video and the addition of a macro mode toggle for the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max camera system. And one notable feature that will be coming to iOS 15.4 in the coming weeks is the ability to unlock your iPhone with Face ID while wearing a mask without the need of an Apple Watch. I've been running the beta of iOS 15.4 for around a week now just to test this feature out. And I can say that although it is a little less secure, a touch slower and does require you to hold your phone a bit closer to your face, it works just as well as normal Face ID. Now, if only this came out two years ago. Lastly, here are just a bunch of other small things that I've noticed on the iPhone 13 Pro. First, battery. 
Battery life is still as good as the day I got it, and I'm still ending the day between 50 and 70% left on average with around two hours of screen on time each day. And regarding battery health, I am still at 100%. Because I don't usually use my phone that much compared to other people, I never have to top up during the day, and I only charge my phone at night with the optimized battery charging toggle turned on. Next, the notch. I said in my initial review that I didn't really notice the 20% smaller size compared to previous iPhones, but after occasionally using older iPhones, the bigger notch on those phones was actually immediately noticeable to me. I guess it's true that you don't really realize what you have until it's gone. <laughs> But now on to the big question, is the iPhone 13 Pro still worth it six months later? From my perspective, I would say, hands down, this is still an amazing phone. The 13 Pro is probably one of the most complete iPhones to date, and I expect it to hold up for five, maybe even six years if I take care of it well. But the question of whether to upgrade to the 13 Pro today, now, that's a more complicated question. You see, Apple will never change the price on the iPhone 13 Pro. It's $13.99 Canadian right now, and it will still be $13.99 Canadian until Apple unveils the iPhone 14s coming in the fall. And speaking of, rumors are pointing to the iPhone 14s having some pretty big design changes, like a hole punch camera on the front instead of the notch, and a camera system that is flush with the back of the phone, in addition to many other long-awaited features that I'm quite excited about. But here is my two cents on if you are planning on upgrading to the iPhone 13 Pro right now. If you absolutely need a new iPhone right now because your current one broke or something happened to it, there's absolutely no point in waiting until September when the new iPhones come out. Smartphones are now so essential in our daily lives that many people rely on them to make a living. So if you need an iPhone right now, and I mean right now, and are interested in the 13 Pro and can afford it, by all means, go out and grab one. You're not gonna be getting a bad phone. But if your current phone works just fine and you're considering upgrading because, I don't know, FOMO, I'd hold off just a little bit longer. Many people underestimate how long you can actually hold onto an iPhone for, and all those upgrades that will accumulate over time will result in your next upgrade being that much better. Anyways, that's all for this video. As always, gently tap the like button, hit the subscribe button, and ring that notification bell to be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, I hope this video brought you value, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.